ones. Let's see what you get today <laughs> as a gift, hopefully. Um, yeah, tonight I slept all night, not just small, short. Have a thing for these tapes. Well, and um, well, um, I'm still tired, although I slept the whole night through. And also, I've managed finally to be away from Facebook, and I will stay away for some time now because um, I so much need to cool down myself. And my, uh, communications and uh, I have this um, I get compulsive very easily I need to kind of I'm like on or off or um, it feels a little bit far away I, I almost drop from the chair when I try to reach to pet her now but <laughs> she doesn't bite as often anymore I guess it never happened a lot for her First the fire and losing her um, home and, and mom, if you say her. And then, and also she was used to running around on the roof, so she, even though she was an indoors cat, she had a lot of space and freedom and no other cats were up there to challenge her and such. So I see that sometimes when I go out to the balcony here, she misses, she looks, she wants to go up, up to the roof. And also when I played some, there were some birds in the video and the, the computer was uh, below her but she then looked, I don't know if it's instinct or if it's because she had been on the roof there she looked up to see them kind of. and she still have this she breathes a little strangely it's, uh, I think maybe her lungs that got affected from from the fire or the smoke but uh, I gave her some uh, now she wants to play with or is play with she wants to eat the birds outside I um, to begin with uh, I gave her a cure of uh, Udana uh, and Ayurvedic herb to help heal her lungs but I don't know to give her another cure I think she when she eat these dreamy candies that she is addicted to she gets worse in her breathing so I, I gotta really um, totally take them out or give her very very little of them so now the cards we get two cards for the goddess or the female side, side and also um, one for the and also, the, there was an additional card there that I put on top, so I'll maybe pull that later now then. And since I had so cold in here, I she uh, got back her like uh, winter fur a little bit, sort of, and now she I lose all that hair once again. I couldn't, I can't believe that small cats can have so much hair everywhere. <laughs> This was the cards for the male side and the hangman we had this the other day or we have it had it several times recently I think and it's uh, about um, surrendering. We can't do anything for the moment to change the situation really. We just have to uh, wait our way through it kind of and, and look at it differently. And here is also three of discs which have to do with work. So we'll read both of these for us now. Um, keywords for this um, hanged man card is congealed, end of a situation or relationship which is stuck, letting go, giving up, surrendering, learning to see in a new way, the necessity of breaking through old behavior patterns. Mm. This is something very important here that we need to listen to. It comes back and back again and again. 
The hanged man is nailed upside down, a position in which the personal will is broken. The situation is at a stalemate. There is no more room to move. Escape of any kind has become impossible. The serpent of transformation and wisdom lay coiled and sleeping beneath his head there. The hanged man is nailed to the wood of his petrified attitudes and viewpoints. His eyes are, are closed. He is blind to all view which does not fit into the closed system of his concepts. Every new idea, every new impulse is ignored and resisted. His head is shaved. The hair, a symbol of a spiritual of spiritual perception is removed. The hanged man has even lost trust in his own intuition. All his efforts seem unpromis unpromising and doomed to failure. However, even in the midst of this hopelessness, wonders can occur. The point has come at which you can no longer avoid seeing naked realities. There is nothing left but to face up to them and let go. This form of capitulation, the giving up uh, of willfulness and frozen ideolo ideolo ideologies leads to far-reaching transformation, breaking through rigid behavior patterns, clearing away old rubbish, full surrender to the higher self, freedom from narrow-mindedness and dogma. One who bows willingly to the cosmic order of the universe is able to become one with the flow of the Tao. Not my will, but thy will be done, for thy will is also mine. Let's see if I don't have the spooky voice this time. That was the spooky voice last time I read it. <laughs> Here. The great reward for a deep surrender to the whole is a 180 degree turn. The world can be seen from a new perspective. It's really a lovely card. doesn't feel like that always to be in that position, but I think I will have to show this video two times because I'm I'm not sure I will be able to read all of it uh, before it's ended. I'm just halfway in and there are three cards, four cards actually left. No, three cards left. It is now possible for you to recognize where you are stuck and which areas of your life are congealed rather than flowing. There is nothing to do. The mere act of perceiving your reality clearly makes transformation possible. So it's a way you, we view it that is impossible. In what areas of your life are you stuck? Are you ready to recognize and let go of your petrified thought and behavior patterns? And uh, there was also this suggestion to draw another card for that which awaits you when you surrender. And I pulled this um, one of pentacles there for that affirmation. I let go and realize, follow and accept the will of the divine in my life which reveals itself to me step by step. I will uh, read first the three, three of pentacles there, or discs it's called. Marsh in Capricorn, work toward gradual progress, duty to oneself, self-confidence. This card indicates full employment of your energies in any situation which you feel yourself obliged to deal with. Obligate, obligate. I don't know what you say. Yeah, anyway, you are willing to undertake even difficult tasks. The sense of obligation comes from within. Your whole being is needed. Full engagement of all your energy is necessary now. Yeah. The three wheels symbolize body, mind and spirit. None of these three can be left out. Only through their combined and balanced use will you, be vis will you see visible results. This crystal, crystal pyramid here symbolizes the visible results. The energies of different planes are united by their common goal. Clarity arises, the crystal. The heavens begin to open. The clouds of uncertainty may repeatedly blur your clear vision of the goal. But your unshakable affirmation of the work you have begun gives you the power to overcome temporary doubts. This assures you gradual progress. Some situation is demanding your readiness to work steadily Engage yourself totally, it's worth it. And this is the male side. This is night of wands, so fire and such uh, activities going on on this side. It could be that also this represents um, uh, some messages are to the women who listen here and some to the men, who knows. But anyways, I will continue where I was. 
In what areas do you still hold yourself back? In what areas could you be giving more of your energies? Find out and remain aware, remain aware of what you want to set your full energies toward achieving. I am now ready to give everything and receive everything. Is the affirmation wonderful for the three of discs there? And then the one, the what will happen if we surrender them? Inner and outer riches, great success, unification of the body and soul, matter and spirit, heaven and earth, wholeness. <coughs> Could it be better? <clears throat> the symbols of the card are arranged in the form of a cross representing the integration of the vertical and horizontal, the inner and the outer. Body and soul, too long set at odds, meet now in harmonic union. Now the body can be treated as the living temple of the soul. The more deeply we are grounded in our bodies, the fewer difficulties will arise during this integration process. I'm sorry for my voice, I have cold. The deeper our roots search into the earth. No, the deeper our roots reach into the earth, the higher the soul will be able to, able to soar. <coughs> uh, even... <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> A seven-pointed star and two pentacles surround the esoteric symbol one... Six six six. What? It says one slash six six six. Divided in I don't know. Anyways, which uh, represents completion. To meta opium means initiation or entrance. Intended here is the possibility of our entrance into new consciousness and readiness for a life which is externally and internally rich. This new consciousness brings with it an attitude of continual development symbolized by the age rings on the wood there yeah i will have to read i guess i don't won't have time i will continue see if i have time to read it before this is uh, ended new levels of being are continually being reached like as concentric arcs arches each in its turn is discovered accepted integrated and brought toward external expression like the rings of a tree this process leads to a real consciousness of the self, a basis for real success. Some teachers will tell us that we can be both inwardly and outwardly rich. This is not necessary to choose between the uh, yeah, that it is not necessary to choose between the two. The inner life is not against the outer. It is important to understand what inner and outer riches really means. Many teachers will tell you about this, for if a student is to ever become wholly holy conscious you must understand that the outward trappings of poverty do not mean that you are inwardly more aware yeah <clears throat> the concept of poverty only means that you are not clinging to money to obtain it poverty means that you do not own anything including your memories however you can use anything you wish once you realize this, you can continue to grow on an inner level and you can attain the highest consciousness possible. The Ace of Discs mirrors your readiness to live a life that is inwardly and outwardly rich. All that is needed is already at hand. Give yourself up to the fullness of life and learn to use your wings. What areas of your life would <coughs> you like to make richer? Work intensively on discovering and developing your potential, your inner wealth. Remain open for every form of enrichment in your life. Wealth is my natural condition. It allows me to express my spirituality and creative potential in this world. And then the, see if I, it's very little time left here, I think. And once, once. Where is it even? So I can't find it. Night of Wands, I will have to um, start this over, although it's not so much more to read, so I don't know, maybe I'll have to ramble to you afterwards, I will try to keep it positive <laughs> if you continue to listen, but yeah, I will have to start over for the Night of Wands here. Um, <clears throat> so let's 
see here. Um, the fiery aspect of fiery. <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Of fire. Dynamic forward motion, increased insight, coming changes. Beautiful, this uh, Knight of Wands. Very, I mean, it's so explosive almost, this card. And brilliant, it's like so shining. The Knight of Wands symbolizes the mastery of growth and inner development. It goes very much hand in hand with the other cards there. In his left hand is the burning torch. Which, with which he burns away all negativity which stands in his way. Mm, we need this. We need this. He has taken on the task of removing all obstacles and blocks on the path towards his own growth. His flowing cape is made of flame. His helmet is, helmet is ornamented with a unicorn's head whose horn symbolizes the third eye. His own vision has become a vehicle, the horse, for decisive dealing with the outer world. <coughs> As a reptile grows, it must from time to time crawl out of the old skin, which has become too tight. The knight's armor, made of reptile skin, symbolizes dropping all that is old and narrow and leaping forward courageously. The energy created by increased perception is set free and now manifest. It is unstoppable. Hmm. Even difficult situations will move in a, in a constructive direction. And indications. Be aware, ready for people or situation which could produce dynamic changes in your consciousness. Be grateful for this gift from existence. Receive it and don't cling to it. Does your present situation allow your energies to develop and unfold fully? If not, what must be removed or changed? And the suggestion is to seek out situations and opportunities that challenge you. Engage with all your energy. Oh my, I, I'm challenged by just existing for, for the moment, but this is for you, I know. I guess. Affirmation. Every challenge which arises helps me grow. Every storm strengthens my roots. That's a beautiful affirmation. Oh my. Now I have all this time. Maybe I could, I could cut it off, but if I do um, <coughs> edit it like that, then it takes a lot longer time to upload it. So I'm just too lazy to do that, I guess. Um, yeah. Hmm. Uh, I have really nothing at all on my mind. Yeah, really one little thing maybe. Um, yeah, I mentioned this before as well and uh, I, I must stop <laughs> doing that. But uh, I don't know for now, but someday it goes or uh, Whispering Canadian, my favorite whisperer, are close to 2,000 or was then close to 2,000 subscribers. And if any of you haven't checked this channel out, I hope you will do so. I will put the link, I will put some links below this video of several um, ones that um, are great and used to also comment here sometimes. And uh, um, I can tell you about one thing about uh, um, Alex Schuyler McRae's um, channel, or not about the channel really. I'm still tired though, although I slept all night this night. Um, I felt that when I was going to wake up, I just didn't want to. <laughs> oh, I felt like I could sleep forever, <laughs> but I couldn't. Uh, anyways, uh, and I haven't had, as I recall, any strange dreams tonight. Yeah, actually, there was something, but I fell asleep again, so I don't recall what it was exactly now. But I think I kind of liked the dream, so. Um, yeah, I have nothing really to say, so I'm just 
continue about the, anything. Um, yeah. He said on those videos that I linked beneath another of my videos, um, he said good night in German or D Deutsch. I don't know. I already maybe mentioned this in the video. I don't. I forget because I've been so tired. I forget what I say. So, um, and I will try to be, speak slow, softly when I get engaged in reading or speaking. I get louder. Um, yeah, uh, and we, I just thought about that when I he heard him saying that, that here we, many Swedes, understand German-speaking people. I don't. Uh, and I don't even really understand accents, Swedish accents around here even, uh, as my grandparents and so on <laughs> had. But... Um, yeah, and also those in south of Sweden. I understand Danish people better, but um, yeah, and Norwegians I understand pretty well. But and if you read Danish, it's like uh, you can read it in sort of a Norwegian way because they are quite similar when you read them. I think uh, so. Then it's easier to understand them when they speak. Also, but I understand the Dan Danish people better than those in south of Sweden. I think. Well, it depends, but yeah. Anyways, and those in Finland, they have a totally different. Um, they come from totally different um, linguistic history or something. They speak totally different. Oh, I almost fall asleep myself. Well, that that was. One unimportant thought that I had when I heard him saying that, and also I've thought about. Let me know if anyone has a suggestion about uh, how to divide these channels. If I should just have card readings on one, because some people may not like card readings. What do I know? But then again, what should I do on the other one? And also, yeah, because it seemed like I now I've been speaking softly on both, but I like to whisper as well. So, I don't know, I had this idea that I should speak softly here and, and whisper there, but yeah. if you have some suggestion how I can divide them in a good way, because I want to keep both though. And this is then related a bit to Ayurveda, Ayurveda I mean, but I haven't done any videos really related to that much, so, but I have had it in my mind <laughs> to do so maybe sometime in the future. Um, yeah, what else? Yeah, also, I can mention that there are some other ones that uh, Kara is more of a star. Um, yeah, Cap also, the, you do music, as I understand. I haven't listened a lot, listened a lot though, just a little bit, but, and, uh, but I can put links to your channels. Um, those I know who do, and also this Extrano, recently I've gotten some comments from you and Sandy, I don't know, really I haven't seen any videos that you make, but I hope you're still around. Anyways, um, and um, let's see, Jessica, Natty McFreak, and... Uh, Marianne, Akashic Inspiration. Yeah. Very, these people all have very nice videos to check out if you're interested. And sometimes at the moment when I get a comment, I can feel, but I've, I shake it off pretty quickly, but yeah, I can feel a bit embarrassed sometimes because my videos are like just so random and I don't know and and uh, some others put so much effort into it and they have such great setups and 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 also the quality of the sound and the videos and such are so great so 
then I can feel a bit strange <laughs> when I get comments and such. Nice comments. But I like it. Yeah. So here is this Night of Fire. Yeah, and it's very much like the cards we have gotten recently overall. Um, even the oracle cards with this uh, it was emotions and then it was uh, confidence it's very much like this the Archangel Michael energy of, of this card as well you could say mm. to go into the battles and challenges with force and with confidence and be brave There is very much a new start also. I mean, new riches, as I said, in all kinds of ways, beginning to grow with, you know, even money, if they could grow. But I think it's very much related to energy, <coughs> money, and then it's not a surprise that I don't have a lot of those. If you see this in a reflection of it, how much energy you would have and so on. Maybe it is, I'm not sure it is, but... And also there was a girl once who said to me that, uh, let's see if I recall, she said... Uh, no, I, I, it was in Swedish, so sometimes I just can't really translate it good. Um, and I also thought about even um, making some, if I at least make shorter videos, maybe also do some um, uh, Swedish uh, voiceovers to them as well, if somebody wants me to, because I've heard there are just maybe two or three very few Swedes that I've heard that are around and listening, but there c it could be more, but if you want me to, then I can also, maybe I should use one of the channels as a Swedish one, <laughs> no. <laughs> I think it must be the whisper one then, because I feel exposed when I have to speak Swedish. <laughs> so it's too much at home. Uh, but um, yeah, she said something about uh, that it really, obviously it's the value, but she said it better, and uh, now I can't even say it good. Mm. But still. Obviously it is what what value you put on things or so. <laughs> That's kind of so obvious <laughs> I did not say it but uh, and yeah, I just leave that because I can't translate really good what she said. Um, but yeah. I have something to deal with there. I need to <coughs> I don't want to be really involved in money money sometimes. Or <laughs> I'm just joining. Um, <clears throat> because, I don't know really, I would just tell that. And maybe it's uh, related to how you f value yourself as well. So sometimes it may be something there. I don't know, and some people also say that the first experience that you had of money, the first thing you remember about money, may also influence your whole life according to money. I don't know how true that is, but I thought about it once and... And then my first memory is when my dad said, like, when I was angry about something or so, and he said, well, here, are you going, or I said maybe that I'm going to run away or something. And he said, oh, but if you're going to run away, don't you need some money here? And he took his wallet and was going to give me a lot of money, and I was so pissed off and angry and screaming, oh, I'm not going to have your money. And then I ran out, maybe a few... Uh, <coughs> around the house a few times, barefoot in the snow or something. <laughs> or maybe I went out to the car and sat there and was grumpy for some while until it was too cold and I went in. And afterwards I, I think that I should have taken the money and got to the store and bought some candy or whatever. But I wasn't. he knew that, I was too upset for it. But maybe that's also something, I don't want to, you are not going to buy me sort of thing. <laughs> okay, now this ends, luckily for you. Much, much, much love. Talk to you soon.